Oh, little kitty, why aren't you eating your food properly these days? Well, I think we should book a psychotherapy session as you seem to be quite depressed these days. It's normal to feel this way during such a mental state. But it's also vital to know about the scenario behind a condition called depression. So, let's zoom in. Almost everyone feels sad and hopeless at times for many reasons. But with changing times and circumstances, those feelings go away on their own and you feel happy again. However, when it comes to clinical depression, it's not just feeling sad or low for a short time, but rather it's a mood disorder that lasts for weeks or even months. It can affect anyone at any age and the person going through depression may become more self-critical and complain a lot. They may have less energy and effort making even small tasks seem difficult. At the same time, they may not enjoy things they used to enjoy and may have changes in sleep and eating patterns. Not only that, some people may even have physical symptoms like headaches, stomach aches and back pain. But the vital question is, what causes these drastic changes in our mood? Well, scientists are still trying to figure out the exact reasons behind depression. However, one of the most significant changes that occur in the brain during depression is a decrease in the levels of certain neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine, the chemicals that allow brain cells to communicate with each other. Another change that occurs in the brain during depression is a decrease in the size of certain brain regions like the hippocampus, which is involved in memory and learning, and the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for regulating emotions, decision-making and social behavior. Additionally, the amygdala, which is involved in processing emotions, is more active in people with depression, leading to feelings of fear, anxiety and sadness. But unlike other disorders, depression is hard to detect at times because people might just look fine on the outside when, in truth, they must be struggling to cope up with their turbulent emotions. Moreover, with so much stigma attached to mental illness, affected individuals may take over 10 years to ask for help. So, for those struggling with depression, it's vital to know that it's absolutely normal to seek medical help. And there are very effective treatments available for it. The best being therapy and medication. In addition, your therapist may suggest certain lifestyle changes such as regular exercise, healthy eating habits and getting enough sleep to improve overall health and well-being. I understand that for people suffering with depression, taking these steps may seem like a daunting task and you might even be hesitant to seek help. But please know that depression is a treatable illness and with a little bit of willpower, you can overcome this low state and regain your power. And for those who notice the symptoms of depression in someone they know, it's important to understand that it's not their fault. Their abnormal behavior is a result of a chemical imbalance in their brains. Blaming them or comparing their situation with your own experiences or feeling a little low can make them feel more guilty and isolated. Instead, be understanding and kind towards their feelings and make sure 
to talk openly about depression. Listen to their thoughts without any judgment and encourage them to seek medical help. The more the people seek medical help, the better scientists will be able to treat it and erase stigmas around mental illness. Trivia time! Did you know, according to WHO, approximately 280 million people in the world have depression? Also, depression is about 50% more common among women than among men. It's sketching time! The sketch of the day goes to 9-year-old Mayank. Hope you learned something important today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Well, never mind. <laughs>